Hey guys, Portia here, and today I am creating a 3D snowflake themed tumbler. And I'm telling you y'all, I am going to throw everything in the kitchen sink at this particular project, and I'm actually excited about it. So we're gonna go ahead and sublimate this image onto this 20 ounce tumbler. I am going to add a little bit of bling, and we are gonna add some 3D effects with some snowflakes here, and you see I've already cut out some let it snow uh, words. Um, um, and we're going to coat everything off with some epoxy resin. So let's just go ahead and get started. Here's the image that we're gonna use today. Now, I did originally create this in Canva. Here is a look at the original image, but I did edit it once I decided how I actually wanted to design this particular tumbler. So I, I, some things are different from the original version, but if you wanna know how I did it, I'll put the link right above and down below in the description. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and get our tumbler wrapped. I've already cleaned it. I'm gonna get it wrapped. And then from there, we are going to just go ahead and press it. All right, last rotation. Get this on out of here. So I like to let it cool off. Everything is looking pretty good. Um, let that cool off just so that I can handle it. And then from there, uh, we will move on to the next step. All right, time to see what we got. How we got our little ombre effect going on and all that good stuff like I said I'm gonna fill this in with glitter make it look a little bit more abstract and up top I'm gonna fill that in with glitter because I don't want any like plain white showing all right guys before we move on to the next step I want to add a clear coat um, to add a little bit of texture to our tumbler right now it is super smooth and of course if you were just doing um, sublimation you could totally stop here but because I am doing a little bit of everything on this tumbler we need to kind of rough it up a little all bit. right guys so our spray paint is all dry and I had to think about this next step I want glitter in certain places um, especially at this stage there is a point where I do want a little bit to go in between all of our different snowflakes here but for right now I do want it specifically in certain places so I was like should I use the resin for that or Mod Podge I decided I'm gonna go ahead and use Mod Podge so what I'm gonna do is put the Mod Podge here so I can glue the I'm sorry glitter the bottom and then I'm gonna put some here um, so we can glitter the top and kind of get rid of um, our white spaces so I think um, I'm gonna use the white chunky glitter at the bottom so let's go ahead and take care of that All right guys, I am done with my glitter, at least for now. I might do some with, with our resin layers, um, but I'm not sure yet. Anywho, I wanted to make it look like a frosty effect or icicle effect. So I cascaded the uh, Mod Podge down a bit and then um, you know shook the glitter on to those areas. And I really liked the way it came out. I did go a little bit thicker here at the bottom because I wanted to look like a frost buildup. And I think we accomplished that. So yeah, I wanna go ahead and move on to placing our decals now. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna place down is the Let It Snow. Like I said, you guys may be having a hard time seeing this, but I did cut this out on my um, Cricut Maker. And so we're just gonna place it, I'm gonna eyeball it just pretty much wanted to live in this area here i'm just going to place it a little bit a little section at a time and 
and I'm not gonna press it all the way down yet because I wanna get the sections on first, make sure it's how I like it, and then I'll press it down. All right, looks pretty good. I'm ready to go ahead and start with our snowflakes. All right, guys, so I have added in all of my snowflakes. I am really loving this effect that we're getting so we're getting um what's going on in the background and then you have the 3d effect coming through in the foreground which is adding depth and dimension to the overall piece now the goal was to never cover up like fully cover up the background it was just to enhance it because as snowflakes fall they do fall one on top of another and these snowflakes i really uh, like them they were very easy to work with i ended up just purchasing a bag of them from amazon so even if you decide to go with a traditional snowflake theme and color this bag will give you blues, um, a silver color, and white. But I only went for the silver and the white, and I went for the pre-cut because uh, I guess I didn't wanna go through the process of cutting it out on my maker, although I could have just like I did with the words. Anywho guys, let's go ahead and move on to resin. All right guys, so here I have mixed up, let's see about an ounce because i realize with the resin when i do 3d tumblers it needs a little bit more or almost way more resin than i'm used to using so this time i said let's just do a little bit more than less and i also added in some holographic glitter um white glitter just to give it a little bit more bling because i cannot leave well enough alone now i am i might i don't know for sure we're gonna go ahead and get this down and i might come through with the chunky holographic glitter that we used in the beginning to kind of add in a little bit of a bigger snowflake glitter effect in our in between sections um, especially here in the middle. I think I left myself too much room to put the um, words in there. So I just wanna add a little bit more sparkle around there. So yeah, I am gonna go ahead and start to get our resin down. All right, this is how we're looking after one coat. Uh, so far, so good. In about six hours, I'll come in with another coat. And, and once that one cures, after about eight hours, I'll come in with the last and final coat. And then after that, you guys can see the completed project. All right, guys, here we have it. Here is our finished tumbler. I am really happy about the texture I was able to achieve here as well as the gloss. I used a different resin this time, brand new. First time using DIY counter culture and the gloss on here is like really, really, really shiny. I don't even know if the camera is picking that up for you guys as well as it is for me. I hope you guys can see it, but I am definitely a fan of the counterculture product. But yeah, the other thing I wanted to mention is this really feels good when I'm holding it. So I always am concerned when you go plopping a bunch of things onto a tumbler, how does it feel? I mean, it might look okay, it might look good, but how does it feel when we actually use it? Is it functional? And I can tell you this really feels good. So if I decide to gift this to someone, I don't have to worry about them saying, oh, okay, I'm just gonna set that on my shelf because it's, uh, it's not functional. But yeah, this is totally functional. It's still really super light and it's um, still easy to drink from because I left this backside um, smooth which is the part where you would actually drink from okay guys this is all I have for you today I just want to share with you guys my 3d snowflake tumbler aka fairy blizzard um, that's the second name I gave 
it if you guys found this video helpful can you go ahead and give it a thumbs up and as always if you got any questions concerns emotional outbursts let me know and until next time peace